Hello everyone, today we are responding to Ronald Jackson's work, so that's the image I've got here. And we're going to be exploring collage today. So you've got four different cutouts in front of you, so you should have these four. And what I want you to do today is try and experiment and create a collage. So the first thing I want you to do is some of your cutouts may have a white strip on them. So any art that are like that, I just want you to cut those down and cut those off because these are not needed. When you are cutting, try to keep your lines straight. Um, we don't want any jagged lines. The lines should be kept straight. So going back to your reference image, have a look at the shapes that he has used and try to recreate the similar ones. So I'm going to start with this blue... Um, black and white print first of all so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut down the middle um, and i'm just going to cut all the way across and before you stick anything down just have a look at your placement so you should have an a3 piece of paper the next um pattern i'm going to use i'm going to go for the floral print now have a think where you might want this one to go so i'm thinking i kind of want this one to overlap this black print here so what i might do is the same but instead of that i may cut round the shape so i might want it to be more circular this time so when you're cutting and you're trying to get that circle shape you just need to cut really neatly so here i'm going to go back in because i have a bit of a sharp edge so you might want to just go around that again so it looks exactly like a circle and i might have a look and see how that is looking so something like that and maybe overlap i might actually want that on top just like that see how it's working um, and then think about the other shapes he's done so there's quite a lot of circular shapes so try to recreate that same effect and you should always be overlapping your patterns so for this one i'm going to cut straight across again um, and i'm going to try and get a sort of circular shape this time and um, so i might start off here and just sort of cut out more of an interesting shape so not all your shapes have to be big you might want to do some smaller ones so you could sort of overlap it like so so just remember that you should be trying to create some small complex shapes not just big shapes so you can get started with some small shapes but try to think about how you can get some smaller shapes involved as well so we might want to try, you know, use this sort of shape here so i might go in with my leafy pattern now um, and i might sort of cut more diagonally across the side and just watch how I'm cutting. My lines aren't jagged at all. They are completely straight. So think about how you can fit this in as well. So now, as you can see, I've finished cutting all my shapes together. And I've really thought about my composition and where everything should go and which colours have worked well together. So make sure that you're thinking about your composition and how it's going to work together before sticking anything down. Now I'm going to go ahead and stick some of the pieces down. So when you're gluing, make sure to glue away from your collage. Um, you don't want to get any glue in unwanted places and then it ends up not looking great. So just glue all your pieces down. So I'll show you. So just glue this piece down and make sure you can remember where you wanted it to overlap. So I'm just going to glue that bit down like so. And then I'll go ahead and glue all my other bits down. So make sure you're really thinking about where you need to glue down and you shouldn't have any white space. So as you can see, my whole A3 page is completely covered and we can't see any white space. So I want you to all to fill the pages. So as this is a demonstration, I'm not going to go ahead and glue everything down. I'm going to leave it like this and let you have a go.